My last two videos have been focusing on NitroPack and the awesome results it provides. Here is an example. This is the RVing site that we've done in previous videos. I got 94 today instead of 98 in previous videos and 100 for desktop. The 94 is on mobile. Still awesome results. But something I didn't know, which I found out in the comments of the previous two videos, is that there's a large number of people who think NitroPack is cheating because nobody else seems to be able to provide these kind of speed improvements. So I guess naturally that means that they must be cheating in order to get them. I don't think it's necessarily true, but I'm also not ruling it out. So in this video, we're gonna investigate some of the ways people say NitroPack is cheating to try to figure out whether they are or not. I don't wanna use them or recommend them if they're cheating, and I never thought they were cheating. And I still don't think they are, but we're gonna go through some stuff in this video. If you have any questions or comments or other ways you think NitroPack is cheating that I did not cover in this video that you want me to look into, please leave all that information down below in the comments. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started. And I'm also not gonna say who left these comments below the other videos, you can go and find them. I'm just gonna say what they told me and what I'm currently investigating. What one of the commenters said was that NitroPack loads a blank page first, then it loads your content. And in that way, it's tricking Google PageSpeed Insights. It loads a blank page, and then we get a 94 and a 1.1 seconds on mobile for the blank page, and then it loads the content after. So that's one way people think NitroPack is cheating. But when I scroll down here, I look at these screenshots, and there's only one that's blank. And then we have the content loading in already. When I test the site that's not using NitroPack, there's a whole lot more blank ones. And these numbers here, like the first content full paint at 1.1 seconds, I'm pretty sure the Google bot can tell the difference between a blank page and a page with content on it. They have in their search engine, image search. You can upload a picture of a car to Google images and it can detect which car it is and then find more images of that car. So don't tell me it can't tell the difference between a blank page and a page with something on it. That's even easier because there's, there's nothing and then there's something. You don't even have to compare it to anything. There's just something there and so something has loaded. And that's what the first content full paint is in 1.1 seconds. And I don't think that's cheating because Google can tell the difference between a blank page and a not blank page. And this ties into something another commenter said, and that's that NitroPack preloads the cache and it serves cached pages. And they said that that is somehow bad for SEO and Google doesn't like it. Well, that's not true. Google does like cached pages because it speeds up your site. WordPress pages are created dynamically by pulling information from the database and putting it into the page template. And the cached page is just the HTML output that results from the process of getting data from the database. It just goes a lot faster when it's cached. There's nothing wrong with that. And to prove that to you, I'm gonna go into Google Search Console and right up here when you're logged in, you can paste in a URL and you can fetch that URL as the Google bot would. So here we've discovered this URL is in Google. We can view the crawled page by clicking on there. It shows all the content on the right hand side I'm gonna copy this and I'll paste in all that content and there is a lot. And here we have our HTML page and all the HTML right down here. And there's a lot of it. NitroPack adds a lot of it in here. And if we scroll down, forget scrolling actually, let's just go to the home page. Let's get a piece of text. Let's get this text right here. Copy that. Control F to find it, paste it in. And here's the text right here. This is the content that Googlebot pulled in. The allegation was that if you serve a preloaded page from NitroPack, it doesn't actually have any of this content, and that's why NitroPack can load so quickly. This is kind of like the first allegation that it loads a blank page. The second allegation said it loads a cached page, which doesn't have all the information. So it clearly has that post right there. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Let's uh, go down to the last one. Let's copy this. Find it and there it is. All that content is there. And that's pulled right from Google Search Console. This is the page that it just crawled moments ago when I put the URL up in here. We can even click on screenshot, then click on test live URL. It's gonna go out and it's gonna pull a screenshot back of the homepage. And here's the screenshot. It's zoomed out a little bit and it didn't get the background images. I think that might be related to the Google bot itself because it doesn't really look at the images when it's indexing the text of a page, although it did load the thumbnail and the logo. Either way, the text content is there and the screenshot is accurate minus the images. The allegation was 
that this is not what Googlebot sees. Googlebot does not see what we see. And to confirm this even works on a sub page. Let's put the sub page in here. Check the index for that one. So it's in the index. Let's click on view tested page, go to screenshot. And there's our screenshot. This time, this was done with mobile, Google, the Google mobile bot. So it's mobile optimized in this case. The image is there now, the content's there, and they're saying that that's not happening with NitroPack. Googlebot can't access the pages properly, but it is. We just tested it right there. Another allegation was that NitroPack is only sending one HTTP request when there's actually a whole lot of stuff being loaded. So if you go to this page here, for example, right click, inspect, go to console and refresh, we see all this content being loaded in here. And they're saying that this content is being loaded, which it is, we can see it's being loaded here. And then when you check the HTTP request, there's actually only one. So why is there so much content being loaded here, which is technically an HTTP request because it's requesting something that's off site because it's coming from the NitroPack CDN. Why is there then only one HTTP request? And I can confirm there's only one because I went to giftofspeed.com forward slash request checker entered the URL, there it is right there. And I should actually enter the URL of the page we just loaded, make it more accurate. So here's the page we're on right now, over here, this page, one HTTP request. Now, if you only have one HTTP request, that means things are gonna load faster because your site isn't constantly going back and forth to load the resources. But the person said that NitroPack isn't actually doing that, they said, in, in their comment that all this content here is being loaded, each one of these being an individual HTTP request, but they're cheating in that they're telling HTTP checkers that there's only one. Now, is that true? Is this actually cheating? So I did a little research on HTTP requests and whether they can be bundled, and it turns out they can. NitroPack has its own CDN, and what they could be doing is bundling all these requests into one via their CDN. And I think that is what they're doing, because if you look at these URLs, they are all coming from the same folder. So you have this first part here. Let's see if I can zoom in. I can. So you have the URL here, NitroPack CDN, and then this folder, the four slash assets, this folder is always the same for every single one. So all of these assets that are normally being loaded externally, like here's an Astra add-on, Elementor, um, JavaScript minified, through NitroPack, these are all being loaded through the same folder on the NitroPack CDN. So what I think they're doing is they're making, they're bundling all the resources that are being requested on a website into one file, and then they're downloading that from their CDN, and then somehow expanding it once it gets to the browser. I don't know exactly how they're doing it, but it looks to me that that's what they're doing. If you are an HTTP request expert and a CDN expert, let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong, but it looks like that's what they're doing to me. I don't know the tech behind it. Otherwise I'll be making this stuff myself and I'm not. So I don't actually know like, the specifics of how it works, but it definitely looks like that's what they're doing. They're, they only have, it only shows one HTTP request because there is only one. And that's one reason NitroPack is so fast because it's bundling everything into one file, bringing it to the browser all at once. So those are the big allegations I saw about NitroPack cheating. If you have others, please leave them down below in the comments. I'll investigate those as well. But all those ones I think are debunked in this video, or at least um, shown that there's some doubt about those cheating allegations. And the last thing I want you to consider about NitroPack cheating is how fast the page actually loads when you go to the page. So I'm gonna go to this page, incognito, and we're gonna see if it's fast or not. Open incognito, paste it in, and that was fast. Normally I edit my videos to take out the page load times, but I did not edit that. I can guarantee you I did not edit that piece of video right there. That's how fast it loaded. Let's do a hard refresh, close that, open it again, hard refresh again, paste in the URL, go there again. That loads really quickly. Um, test your site, turn out your pack off, remove it from your site, see how fast your site loads by you actually visiting it. Don't do PageSpeed Insights or GT Metrics or anybody, just actually visit the site to see how fast it loads, then turn NitroPack on, make sure the page you're visiting is optimized in NitroPack, visit it again, and there's a really good chance it's gonna load a whole lot faster. And I think that is the number one evidence that NitroPack isn't cheating because it makes your site, when you're actually using it, so much faster. 
And as part of one of the comments, something I kind of glossed over in this video was they said that Nitro Pack caching and preloading pages is bad for SEO. And I have not read anything about those techniques being bad for SEO. As long as all the content is on the page, which it is, then it's fine. The pages loads faster and search engines actually like that for SEO. If they were actually loading a blank page, that wouldn't be good. But from everything I've seen in Google PageSpeed Insights and in Google Search Console here, they are not loading blank pages for search engines. And then content comes later. The search engines are actually picking up the content with their bots. So I'm not sure where these allegations are coming from that Pack is cheating. But like I said, if you have any more things that you think they're cheating on, please leave it in the comments down below so we can investigate because I don't want to recommend something that's not good for your site. I don't want to recommend a product where the developers are cheating. So I like to get to the bottom of it. So whatever you want to investigate, leave it in the comments down below and I'll see what I can find out. If you've not yet seen the previous two videos that sprung these allegations, check them out right here and right here. And if you haven't done so yet, also make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.